All right, good morning, YouTube. My name is Dylan Heavy. We're going to start by playing some blue black control. So, as it's a deck that has a lot of early game interaction here to kind of bridge you like into your powerful instants and sorceries, like to deal with anything here. Some card draw with some card filtering into the Scarab God and Torrential Gear Hulk to kind of like outclass your opponent. Um, yeah, it's a good, uh, a lot of lands can be kind of clunky, but uh, I like that. I like this card a lot, which I'm super excited about. Cyborg's pretty pretty straightforward. Get some duresses and negates for any other kind of control deck. Probably God Pharaoh's Gift, at least in the gates. Got Siphoners for like control mirrors as well as like negates and duresses. Aetherborns for help in the mono red matchup. And then some essence extractions just to um, just uh, beat up on beat up on other on the mono red decks. Let me just make sure my stream's working out and then I'll get into the games here. I'm excited about this deck. Like I think that um, I think that it's got legs against most of the decks in the format, especially like the Green Red Monsters deck, because you can get under them. Wow, what is going on here? Let me just make sure the stream's working out, and then we'll get going. Because it's giving me like a little bit of wacky, wacky stuff going on. Okay, let me try starting my stream over. Because it just showed like a network error. So I just want to make sure that it's not tweaking out or anything. Okay, looks like we're in good shape. Looks like we're doing good now. Okay. All right, so let's jump into some games. Yeah, I just had to restart it. Uh, competitive standard five match league. First league of the new standard set. Leader only has three undefeated trophies. Huh. So I'm pretty excited about the standard, even though. I'd like to try it some more. It seems like there's a lot of fun decks. I still think I still think probably Mono Red's the best deck. Like it lost it lost some aspects to it. Like it lost well, it obviously lost Ramen Up Ruins, which was the late game engine of the deck. But you still have Hazret, and like it's gonna survive even without Ramp Engine for Asanon. So I think it's just like, I, I, I can't imagine beating a mono red deck with this setup here. Like, I would probably just get absolutely crushed. I need, I think I would need more. I probably need, like, four Aetherborns to get this matchup halfway decent. Um, Sand's good. We've got a removal spell, a counter spell, and a way to dig. So, it could be a little slow on the draw, but hopefully Essence Extraction can pull us back into the game. I would hate to see like basic mountain. I would like to play any green mid range deck. Okay, so we're playing probably the control mirror, so I might as well start off with this. It's so either blue white approach or God Pharaoh's gift. And I don't think I'm going to cycle my fetid pools. The search is bad. Oh, chart of course. Okay, so we're playing against uh, God Pharaoh's gift. Yeah, I think we're just going to play tap lands. We're not cycling that. Like, if we would cycle it, we would hope to be hitting a land, and that doesn't seem to make a lot of sense. 
to me at least. I guess I should turn off my yields because I might push something. Ministry like that. This fatal push probably isn't that good in this matchup anyways. Cause like you can you're not you're not killing like champion of wits or angel of invention or anything. That's not bad. So I'm gonna be hard pressed to not Supreme Will for a land here. Yeah, I think that's probably good enough to not. I'm going to save this for the late game. Use this counter target spell. Just use this for now. Use my mana effectively. And use the counter spell that might be, I don't know, less good later. While I still can. I kind of want to play this out. What's the worst that can happen? If my opponent refurbishes a God Pharaoh's gift, though, I'm probably in a lot of trouble. So I wouldn't mind like holding up and then going Supreme Will for a land to go to hold up Search for his content and disallow next turn. And then the search should get me a lot of advantage. I should be able to just like kind of hide behind it. And my opponent's just gonna jam. I think I'm going to use this so that I can use the Supreme Will if I miss a land drop next turn. My opponent's got three spells left in their hand. Alright, we hit a land drop. Is it worth just slamming the search? Like, they would need... Yeah, I'm just going to play the search. Like, it's going to be difficult. My opponent would need the third refurbish. They can't hard cast uh, God Pharaoh's gift yesterday, and an angel's annoying, but champion wits. That's okay. That is certainly all right. Another Gear Hulk. Uh, I'll probably get an Island. I have a lot more double blue spells. Always yield. Uh, yes, I'd like to put Fatal Push in my graveyard. I gotta find a when when's a good time to pull the trigger on this scare of God? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven lands next turn, so I could activate it even if in my upkeep I Supreme Will or Essence Extraction Extraction this. My opponent's got two cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. They can only refurbish a Gear Hulk next turn, which doesn't really do that much to me. So I think I am just going to slam this Scarab God and then play this land. If I want to flip my search, because I can go Essence Extraction this, flip my search for its count to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then reanimate it. Yeah, we're just going, we're going for it. And do this in my upkeep in response to the um, Escanta trigger. It's just going to give me more mana. Then hopefully they don't play like a cast out or something like that in their main deck. I don't know if this deck does or not. I know it's probably got it in the sideboard. The Gear Hulk's going to be kind of annoying. Yeah. So now I might be in a little bit of trouble. That's a third refurbish in the top 15. Keep this, keep 
this. So that did nothing for my opponent. All right. So let's go one. How do I do this? First in, last out. I hate how this works on Moto. So we're going to go like this. Okay, resolve this. Oh, the Scarab God resolved first. That's frustrating. Put Drown Catacombs 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, I'll put that in the graveyard. And I'll transform this. Hey, Archmage. Oh, well. So this is all right. Like, I can, like, before my opponent's turn... My opponent tries to play anything before combat. We have Supreme Will up, and then before they go to combat, I can reanimate this Champion of Wits. I don't think I want to reanimate it now. It just doesn't do anything. Just get this in here. This card is amazing. I guess I should have done that inside of my combat step. Right, what is this target? Target's my god. Okay. So they get a ministry back. I can't like hit the one they target because of how this card works, which is annoying. Yes. Alright, there's another god. Probably can discard this and discard this. And then I will push the thing that he... I'll push this. And then attack for four, play another Scarab God with Disallow up. So it has haste, so I'm just going to do this. I guess he's got energy anyways. I don't think my opponent should attack with it. What is this? Because they need to fill their graveyard up. I think, at least. Yeah, that's probably a good play to do. Cataclysmic Deer Hulk, and they hit a champion. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If I hit a land, I can reanimate. Um, if I hit a land, I can reanimate the Champion of Wits with my Scarab God. Which we did. So Kraken for four, play a Scarab God, and then probably in, I probably should do this right and do it inside of combat with this trigger on the stack, right? Because this this still goes on the stack even though it doesn't target. Yeah, you can't just like you can't just put it on the stack without giving me an opportunity to respond to it. So that was a that was a dumb statement. And we'll just. Well, even though we'll respond to the Champion of Wits, we'll get the Champion of Wits back, but he's going to give my opponent a chance to hit the Cataclysmic Gear Hulk. But it's fine. Like I'll just ditch both of my um, both of my Champion of Wits that I've made, and then just like draw a million cards, and then my Scarab got still bigger than this Champion of Wits. So. There's the Twitch alert. Oh, I should turn on. I don't even know if I have my music turned on. Normal disorganized Dylan. Um, deceiving. Thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate the uh, support there. I hope you are having a good day. Yeah, so we'll get inside of combat. We'll respond to this. Take the champion of wits. Just keep my opponent running on low. He's going to dead lands himself. I guess at this point we're a bit afraid of an angel, but we can find a way to deal with an angel with this um, 
off of this champion of wits. So they hit a champion of wits. So they're gonna be all champion as well. Okay, so I want that field to ruin. I don't think I'm in the market for Bob 2's last reckoning. And Essence Extraction is probably taking up its use. At least I can keep this search in play and then deal with keep like I can keep my search so I can work on manipulating my draw step while keeping this one. So I think we'll go like this. I'm only field of ruin this is Kanta on my turn. Hey viewers, I hope everyone's having a good morning. Alternatively, I can just start like double scarab guiding every turn. Which, it might just be the right thing to just activate Scarab God for the rest of the game. I can like disallow this God Pharaoh's gift trigger and still attack for a million. It's going to be kind of annoying if my opponent finds an Angel of Invention in their second main phase. Just, they just hard cast it. Strategic planning. Because we're just going to crack with all of our dudes. Probably, actually, we're just going to crack with all of our guys and leave our mana up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Takes 2 to animate this. Put on the bottom. Put on the bottom. My opponent's got to chump the Scarab God. And then I just disallow this trigger. Yeah. And can Essence scatter an angel. And my opponent's dead to the the trigger next turn. Even through a cataclysm and gear hulk, they're dead through the trigger. And I'm not even gonna bother field ruining this as Kanto. We're just gonna like chill out. We're gonna do nothing. My music going? Yeah, it's going. It's not too loud. I didn't bring my headphones with me, home with me from work. Charter course, okay. I didn't bring my headphones from from work home, so I can't like play my headphones, put my headphones into here without it messing with my audio and the recording. So I don't hear anything, but. Let's concede the game, okay. So against God Pharaoh's Gift, they usually bring in, what do I want against God Pharaoh's Gift? I assume I want, what do I not want? I probably don't want these pushes. And probably don't really want Bantu's Last Reckoning. I, I would assume that I can cut like an Essences, I probably can cut these Essence Extractions. And then I can probably bring in like some number of duress negate. I'm assuming siphoners probably fine because they don't deal with creatures that well. I definitely want these siphoners in. I think I want Gonti in as well. I just don't think that like fighting on the removal access is where I want to be. I think I want to just like hold back, counter things. You know, I've got my, I've got like three cre creature counter spells. Got sensor for the early game, and then just kind of sit back. I don't know, I don't play this deck too... I've never played this deck before, so this is just, like, kind of what I think. Uh, the question is, do I want to rest in a gate? Probably, like, a little combination of both, which is usually bad. That usually means I don't know what I'm doing if I'm boarding in some of both. Like, I think that this is what I want to do, but... Again, I'm not exactly sure. I might want more um, on the draw. I might want like the 
the rest in favor of the negate because it's going to be so big. It's going to be a big game to be able to hit like their search for his content on my turn one. So I think that's worth it. I think we're going to go like this. That's what I think too, the goose. Uh, I don't think we get Mulligan this hand. Like, we're a little soft to his Kanta, but such is life. No sacred cat, thank God. Can't beat the cat. Um, play this, just show some weakness. I don't think I'm cycling my. I'm, I'm sure that I'm going to get some mileage out of this sensor. So, oh, strategic player, that's way better than search for Strategic, so negate, oh, they ditched the negate and I cast out. That's good for the home team. All right, now we're kind of on the chill out plan. The question is, do I cycle sensor even if my opponent doesn't play into it this turn? Because there's like a really good chance that like I can get some value out of it and I'm not really looking for anything at this point. That card's pretty annoying, but I think we're going to let it in play. I think I'm going to keep this sensor because um, it, it's going to get some mileage eventually, but after this turn, I'll ditch it. Because my opponent's got a bunch of like clunky cards in their deck. And four spikes probably just fine, but I'll probably cycle it after this turn. Just to find some more action. I've only got one more land in my hand. I don't really want to dig for lands with these. Uh, Supreme Wells, I want them to be cards. But I also have four. I've got five counter spells, so them being card draws is probably fine. That, I think, is worth a soft counter. Because it's just two cards. And like, I can't, I can't take these home with me. So I might as well just trade here. My opponent hadn't attacked. I might have just let that resolve, but I'm a little more inclined to take care of it. Yeah. So they have five spells in their hand, which is kind of scary. All right, this is good. Let me get my third land into play. So these charter courses are pretty annoying. I basically like have to trade with these charter courses. Like I've got to counter these. Cards can't be the target of spells or abilities. So this shuts off this shuts off his God Pharaoh's gift too, right? So he just like sided out his God Pharaoh's gifts and then sided these in. What I could do is I could just take these negates and then just trade for these charter courses. When my opponent attacks me, because if they draw another land, they can go charter course, charter course, which is kind of annoying. Alternatively, I can just take a charter course and hope my opponent doesn't draw land. I think I'm pretty okay with this being in play. Yeah, it's going to shut off my Scarab God, but at least Scarab God is like still huge. And it also shuts off the God Pharaoh's gift. So. And I'll just eventually beat them down with five sixes. I think I just don't think I care about this card. So I think I'm going to take a charter course. My opponent draws a land, not taking the gate. It's kind of annoying, but if you just leave them with two charter courses and they chart anyways. I'm going to let this land. Again, count of the chart. I'm 
We still have plenty of land answers to this angel sanction, so I'm not super worried about that. All right, that's a good draw. So probably this turn going to Supreme Will and Impulse, I think. I'm going to get a swap with this Evolving Wilds for sure. And I don't think there's any need to save it. Like, I don't think Revolt is super in question at this point. So they hit some good ones. All right. Um, go like this first. I don't really think it matters. This Supreme Will tro probably trades with a negate for my opponent, but that's fine. All right, Glint Sleeve Siphoner, I think, is where I want to be. Um, no, I think Sensor still has legs. Now I wish I would have cycled it. Now, is there any chance my opponent will have left in... Um, would have brought in Fumigate against me. And they're one land off anyway, so I think we're going to go like this. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have put the shields down. That was stupid. Like, I wanted to attack for one. Or I wanted to draw a card. But my opponent easily could go land into... Yeah, that was just stupid. I guess, but I guess the God Fairy doesn't even matter. Right, you can't even refurbish with this. Right, this does shut down God Pharaoh's gift. Like, I'm not crazy, right? I think I'm going to cycle this and look for a land. Yeah. And then we'll just play ourselves a 5 6 for 6 next turn. I need some more coffee. Draw a card. It's another good draw that covers this, but I'll probably just Varaska's Contempt it because I'll get another energy of uh, energy, and um, they can't embalm it. It's just a clean way to deal with it. I like this deck through one match. It just promotes a lot of interesting gameplay. Okay, so opponent's gonna... Sure. I could have disallowed that, but that seems pretty loose, I think at least. So, 14 viewers, I hope everyone's having a good time today. Okay, Angel gets in there. Let it take the thing, and then we'll contempt it. No attack for my opponent is pretty weird, but I guess they're just fearing the Hulk. Maybe I should play the Gear Hulk. Yeah, I'm going to play the Hulk. And then Veraska's Contempt this on my main phase because it's going to let me have Disallow up. Yeah. All right. Next match. I'm going to get some more coffee while we're going here. Do I play Modern in a Legacy? Um, I usually play Modern. I've got probably like a hundred hours of Death Shadow on my YouTube channel. 
I played I play a little bit of Legacy, but not too much just because it's, you know, format's a bit expensive. I don't have the cards. I basically play when I get the chance to. Top 64, the last SCG that came to DC. I was pretty excited about it. was my first 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 legacy event where I registered Brainstorm. That card is sweet. I will keep this hand. This probably has to get Swamp in case we're under the gun here. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be under the gun. That lands a pretty good draw. This is probably like Mario Vehicles or um, Red White, which I, whoa, we're not going to be on any place, which I cannot beat the land. I guess I've got Field of Ruin, but. Well, it does appear that we're going to be able to coast behind this, this sensor for at least a turn. And I would assume that I'm going to cycle this sensor here. Like, I don't think this sensor is going to have much legs after uh, after this turn. Because I think I'm playing against an aggressive deck, but they didn't have a one drop or a two drop, so it seems pretty odd. I don't know what's happening. Is this like an on-crop crasher? Yeah, I'm just going to... Just going to trade. I think my main plan is to... Try not to let Hazret get in play. Double Spring Will's nice. The, good, the nice thing about whenever you play against Mono Red, Scarab God turns the corner so fast because you take their creatures. I think I'm going to Impulse. Just make sure I play the Scarab God on time. And it might as well be this land in case I have to kill that flip enchantment. That's not bad. Play this tapped. We'll pass. I think we're in good shape. All right, so what are we doing? Am I just gonna like tap out for Scarab God? No, I think I'm just gonna play this. What do I wanna do here? Tap out for Scarab God, hit him for eight. What can he land? He can land like a Chandra that's pretty annoying. Chandra Magma Sprite gets rid of my Scarab God. Alternatively, I can just play Fetid Pools, have Supreme Will, play a land next turn, go Gear Hulk Supreme Will, and then start to beat that way, play a Flash 5-6. I just don't think I want to put the shields down yet. I don't really know. Like, I feel like he's got an answer to my, because he knows that Scarab God's coming. So I think we're just going to chill out. Really hope to cast, I'm probably going to cast this Supreme Will in either way because of the presence of Gear Hulk. Yeah, that guy's good. You got it, dude. Opponent gets in there for one. Yeah, we'll take his push. Play that. And then I'm not going to try to ambush this in combat. I'm just going to do it at the end of turn because I don't want... I want to be able to, like, up here that I've got the shields up, but I'm, I'm casting a Gear Hulk pretty much either way. And I'll Gear Hulk Supreme Will if I need to do anything. Should be in pretty good shape now, I think. I kind of want to wait to play the Scarab God until I can activate it. A braid. Okay. Look at the top four. 
One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna take an essence extraction and then look to play my god when I can hold up the gear hulk. Though this leaves me a little loose to a hazard, I guess. So maybe I should just slam it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Like we, we're not beating cast out at the moment anyways, which means I should have taken a different card off that extraction. Off that Supreme Will. So yeah, I'm just gonna play the Scarab Guide. Probably pretty mis like missequenced here, but then just hope they don't I doubt a deck with on Crop Crasher and Fanatic Fanatical Firebrand has cast out in their main deck. Okay. Now we just gotta hope for no Hazaret. Because Hazaret's gonna be annoying. Okay. So my opponent just flooded it out. I probably misplayed there. My fault. Like I should, I should have picked a line and stuck to it more. So these, I'm assuming these four cards are great. I don't think disallows are great. Uh, you know, like we would have been able to hard counter something that game, but the odds of us ever being able to do that are pretty low. Um, Probably, well, Illumination cycles for one, so Illumination's probably fine. Probably can cut a Gear Hulk. Gear Hulk seems kind of slow. Let's see what this looks like. And again, I don't really know if this is what I should be doing or not, but... Probably, probably Gear Hulk's better than Surge. Surge first kind of slow, Gear Hulk at least smacks in there and kills people. Yeah, we'll go like this. Yeah, I don't know, Arkesha. Like, I just took the list, like, card for card and played it. Yeah, this is this is good here. We'll just we'll play this. Get this guy down in the early game. And then we can Illumination to catch us up. Or we can Illumination into, like, if we need to cycle it, we can do that. That also might change my play. I might, like, leave up Sensor and Sensor being able to hit, like, an on crop Crasher. And if they don't, then cycle Illumination. Yeah, this is much more of a mono red draw. This probably means that I that I have to play the board. The contempt's good. Contempt gives us an answer to Hazard. Right? <sighs> Lightning strike. All right. So this turn. We hold up sensor. I probably push this inside of combat, like just to save a little bit of life. Another Kenra. Yeah, definitely. Definitely got to save a little bit of life here. Puts us to 10. We can deal with one of these Kenras next turn and then get us save us two lives. So we go to 10. We're only going to take three next turn. And honestly, I probably need to cycle this sensor just to make sure that I can scare God on five. Well, now I think I have to trade because I have the opportunity to. And now this contempt might be saved for like a hazard. Could Bantu's last reckoning, but that seems kind of loose in the face of you know just being able to play Hazret. A 
Okay, so there was no hazard there, and I can't beat Chandra anyways, so I think I'm just going to contempt this. Might as well save myself the two life. I would rather save the two life, hope I draw a land, than play this illumination. Get our homeboy out there. And then I block the 2 1. Alright, so let's get some Akenra back, which is a little scary. Four. Oh, I can't. Oh, because Akenra can still block. Okay. Because the guys how the counter works, the scare of God can still block it. So let's think. Okay. So. Oh, uh, so do I want to just start bolstering my battlefield, or do I want to bond to last reckoning my opponent? Or I can just hold up the illumination and do this some other time, which is probably what I want to do. At this point, I think I just want to hit land drops. Moment courier. They'll probably just suicide that in just to get a card. And I'll just block it with this. And then, my opponent does nothing, I'll probably Illumination, just to get like a couple more answers going on. And then in my upkeep, I assume if I don't hit anything off the Illumination, that I will animate, or that I'll, I'll reanimate some of these cards. Okay. So yeah, I think now we reanimate the Relentless Raptor. And then play search. Um, we do just want to hit land drops because, like, that's going to get us up to like scare guarding every turn and doing something else. So it's a bit mopey to keep a land, but again, land drops are going to win us the game because, like, next turn one, two, three, four, five. I guess we, this doesn't flip next turn, and we can. Alright, so now I need to find a Gear Hulk. This Bowmat, I should have done the Bowmat Courier. I guess I can do Bowmat Courier next turn, and then the Bowmat Courier has haste. And I can ship this Bowmat Courier into this Chandra. Like, I, I'm going to ship 8 power into the Chandra next turn. Okay. So block, block the two one, take two. Bring this back. Scry some. Yes, well. If I draw the Swamp, then it lets me play Gonti as well. So I think I'm going to draw. I think I'm going to draw the Swamp. Opponent loses two. I stacked these all wrong on Moto, but what are you going to do? So we're going to come in with both of these at Chandra. Probably not attack my Scarab God, just kind of hold that back. I think we're kind of like, we're good here. I mean, we can still lose the game to Hazret just because Hazret's like a nut card. But this card is just like unreasonable.
I think the play is to block with this and shoot. And then have the Chandra go to one. Or just like this. But then like you're you're just feeding my scarab god anyways. Alright, so they appear to be all in. Do I want to play Gonti, or do I just want to animate the Scarab God again? I probably just want to keep Scarab Godding. It's going to give me more scries, and I have a gift, I have a gift to Etherborn that I didn't even see in my graveyard, so we can get that into play at the end of my turn. I didn't even see that. I forgot that was there. Whew, it's early. We're only on a second cup of coffee. Yeah, we're definitely going to get this into play. This guy here. I think that the straight mono red deck is really good. I'm going to play the, the program 52. Uh, after this league, we're actually going to have queued up. Um, we actually have the new Phoenix queued up here after this. This was uh, pretty much Brendan DeCandio's list, except I had to change a couple things to keep it within my credit limit. And my credit, basically the only thing that I had to change, I had to cut a Chandra, and I just added, like, another Brontodon to the sideboard. Just because Brontodon's, like, sweet. Oh, wait, where are the rest of my sideboard cards? I have to go get those through the SCG before we start the league. There's only 13 there, unless they're, they're over here. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to play. I think the card's very good. I think it's pretty poor against, like, Walking Ballista specifically. But... Like, Walking Ballista probably isn't going to be that much of the format. Okay, so let's bring back this Aetherborn. And then I'll double block this. My opponent gives me the option. Oh, maybe Moto Moto might be tweaking out. Oh, it appears we're back. All right, we were tweaking out for a second. I mean, at least the Scarab God costs five, right? Put Evolving Wilds Graveyard, yes. All right, OBS reconnected successfully. I think I lost everyone for a while. But, and maybe we're back here. All right, um, so let's send, ship both these into Chandra. And then I'll just play God. I guess we could have got Chandra off the board if we'd have Fanatical Firebrand. I was like worried about my stream here. At least a Scarab God costs five mana. You know, but there are going to be some decks that just can't beat the god. Alright, we gain four life. Which is probably like the nail in the coffin. I kind of want to... I actually am going to Illumination 
to find me another land. And then when I find the land, I'll play Scarab God. Okay. Would have been awkward had I not found the land, but now I can like double God in my upkeep and I can take Fanatical Firebrand and like Kari Zev and be in good shape. Oh. I did lose everybody for a minute. So I'll block with this. Okay, on crop crasher. So they already activated their Chandra. Oh, they should let they should give me the chance to block at least. So now we just get back both of our haste creatures, both of my opponent's haste creatures. Then we'll just crack in for like a million. Yeah, it looks like it's good now. Um, yes. Yeah, opponent, opponent has seen enough. I'm going to restart Moto here. So let's toss it here to the sponsors. Oh no. I, I actually, I moved around my sponsor page thing on my, which is annoying. So let's go, let's restart Moto. Just gonna restart Magic Online here for a second while we're trying to get everything back and going. Thank you everybody for being patient while we have some stream difficulties. There was just too much Scare of God awesomeness going on with our stream in order for our opponents to handle it. Waiting for the old moto. Good, it's still on one video, which is nice. Because my OBS even disconnected at one point. So yeah, we'll get back into the league here. Finish this league up. Then play red-green. And then I think I might play, like, some Mardu... I'm, I'm, I'm very impressed with, like, Mardu vehicles or just, like, ramen up red, I think. Like, I'd like to play some kind of low to the ground, get you deck. Even though Jim Davis's deck from the IQ from the on that was on camera yesterday was pretty sweet. You know they got wrecked in that match. Like they showed on camera, or at least whatever the Enchantress player just went like absolutely crazy. So that's my stream health is still good. So it's still going here, like we're still doing well on OBS, it's just Moto that's losing its mind at the moment. 
I guess I can toss this up and actually fix this while while I uh, am waiting for all this to go up here. I moved everything around on my dashboard in order to get me better here. Well, thank you, the program 52. I appreciate it. It's just like, I don't know what's going on. We're just like Moto's quality program. But I guess right now, we'll just plug my sponsors. If you're in the upstate New York area, you should be checking out Gamer Craze. It's a place that has really great Moto, or really great ma uh, magic card prices. They foster a card environment. That's, they foster environments that are really good at college students. So they've got great pricing. They'll have their website up soon, which will be linked below. But you can look them up, look them up on Facebook for now. Card Hoarder, this, this stream is brought to you by Card Hoarder. All these decks that I, all these cards I have are rented through Card Hoarder. So if you have magic need, magic online needs, you should check out Card Hoarder. And if you ever want to find archives of my stream, you can check out my YouTube channel, which is linked below. And if you ever want to interact with me, just talk magic. The best way to get me to play your deck is to either donate for the league or to just talk to me on Twitter. I had people, you know, I had a couple, played a couple different Death Shadow variations that people on Twitter talk to me about, so, you know, just interact. Follow me on Twitter and just, like, interact with me. You know, that's the best way to do it. So it looks like we're getting back going here. Alright. Come on, Moto! Team Card Hard has got three teams that are in line to maybe make it here at, uh, for day two at the uh, limited GP, which is good. All right, open the lead. Here we go. And again, I'm sorry for the for the the troubles here. There was just too much awesomeness. From the scare of God. Just too much good stuff. Alright, but it appears like we're back here. It's a bit hot. I think I'm gonna take my sweatshirt off. Go grab a long sleeve shirt, be right back. Oh, that's awesome. That's the biggest annoying thing about playing limited at like a premier level is that you just like, you gotta deal with your pools. It just takes forever. Even at PPTQs. To make sure nothing's going on with Moto. That's the nice thing about it. You can always figure out if anything weird is going on with Moto by just looking up the MTG, looking up the, uh, uh, we have the hashtag. There's nothing going on, so. Oh, we got paired. Sweet. So we're finally back into it. I like this deck. Yeah. And eighty dollars. That's a lot of money. Um, yeah, we're gonna be adults. Yeah, we'll keep this. Put him login as well. What a what a guy. What a buddy. What a pal looking out for me. Um, I don't think we want this. I'm gonna lead off on fetid pools. And then, all right, irrigated farmland. Well, now I wish I had that back. Well, yeah, I mean, you're also like paying for the experience. 
Oh, so this is Jim Davis's band deck, I think. I would assume that this is probably an atrocious matchup. At least in game one. Then game two, he gets on the Carnage Tyrant plan, so I actually, like, have to leave my, um, I have to leave my Bontu's Last Reckoning in, which kind of sucks. You're paying for, like, the experience. You get a playmat, right? I mean, they're, they're giving you stuff. I wish there was a way that you could opt out of the playmat, though. And they, they should give an option to have people, like, when you sign up, to opt out of everything, I think. Yeah, I wish there. I would do wish that there was a way you could, you know, mitigate the price, mitigate, you know, the expenses. Though I'm gonna keep this. Uh, I'm gonna keep this sensor, but I think I'm actually gonna cycle this evolving wild, this fetid pool, because I've got two more lands in my hand. I need some more action. Yeah. And again, we're gonna do the same thing, I think. Yeah, I wish I like I I've got too many playmats. Like I usually just donate my playmats to as soon as uh it's ninety five oh it's no playmat. Eighty dollars no playmat? Jeez. That's that's expensive. Alright, we're gonna cycle this first. I do if my opponent has glimmer, then like they got me. I want double blue before we want double black. Yeah. It feels like raw. I think you're being a little... Because, like, it's expensive to run those events. Like, you have to rent the areas. You have to, like, pay for the coverage. You have to, like, pipe internet into there. Like, it's expensive. And I think that a lot of people don't realize how expensive it is. Um, I think I'm supreme willing. So let's get an island and then supreme will. Though this sensors, I'm think I'm just gonna cycle the sensor. Cause like the supreme will can still do something and the sensor probably has lost its. That's a good draw. The sensor's lost its value at this point, I think. Mm hmm. Um. Yeah, I think I'll play this. I think we're in the market to play our lands now. What are you gonna play in standard there? The program. This is cycling. Looks like, yeah. Yeah, between like blights and all that stuff. What is this? So this flips in the maze of it. Search your library for a basic land. Okay, and they, they're, they're playing around. I can't do anything about it anyways. They play like a search of hers contact or two in this deck if I remember right. What I'm gonna lose to is I'm gonna lose to the stupid uh, desert interactions. All right, so now we have plenty of money. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna play land and pass. Like even if, I'm gonna cycle the sensor for sure. But even if I were to cycle the center into a Scarab God, there's no need for me to do it. And at least I can, like, you know, play a little bit of Gear Hulk action here. Keeping on Grixis mid range. I looked into that deck as well. What is going on? Oh, this is my compensation. Great. This was a compensation for my last stream, where I um, went to go kill a Reality Smasher, but I couldn't get it. I could like I wanted to discard my Death Shadow so that I had Delirium so I could kill my opponent, and like, I couldn't even do it. Which is frustrating. Hopefully, there's not a main deck Carnage Tyrant Spring. All right, I think we let Spring go. Mind is going to be what's worth fighting over, but we might not even be able to fight over it at this point. We're going to need some of our hard 
our hard matchups here. Our hard counter spells. I'd like to hit an illumination. Yeah. And we're okay discarding like Fatal Push or something like that. Okay, so we did hit a hard counter spell, which is nice. I should have played a swamp, I think. I think a swamp would have been like technically correct. So I'm gonna ditch this push, I think. Alternatively, because I don't want to be that far behind in a mana advantage, but it's gonna be nice to be able to push a zombie, I guess, so I'll just discard a land. Probably gonna Supreme Will now. Look for a Gear Hulk, a Scare of God. Okay, well, at least the Scare of God is something. Though my opponent is not giving me anything to Scare of God back. Yeah, so I guess we're just gonna cast it. Leave up my Field of Ruin. This card's sweet. I like Field of Ruin a lot. I would assume this Scarab God dies. And I but I might fight over it, I don't know. I really want to fight over that spring to mine, the back half of that. Cause I do eventually have to deal with these because I need to find a way to win. And it's going to take me at least two creatures. So I think I'm gonna start here. And if my like my opponent can land a spring to mine, but I need to uh, I need to do something. Like we're in trouble because we can't we can't get like anything else going on with this scarab guy, which is gonna be the problem. Like we don't have another creature, which isn't good. We get it back though. And we can deal with that that maze myth if we would like to. Okay, so now they just scavenge the ground and exile it. Which is fine. It's not fine, like we're we're in a little bit of trouble here. But we can at least do something. That's pretty annoying. And we just play draw go. We're in trouble now. We are definitely in trouble now. Am I playing against her? I'm playing blue light control. I'm playing like a bant approach of the second sun deck. We do have some we do have some good cards in the well turn off auto yield. So I can feel the ruin here if my opponent tries to uh, like get to I think this checks. Let's see how this checks. So now we just definitely get rid of this. Give myself a basic. I think I'm in trouble there, Brendan. Like, I don't have anything going on. They have a search. Like, I think I'm gonna lose this game. Oh, I mean, you, yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not super, I'm not super excited about the direction of this game.
At least I didn't draw the spring to mine. And we're just gonna like, not do anything. Stay up on time. It's 31 to 36, so they're even milling us out at a better rate. It is game one. They played this arch here. There. Can blam. Yeah, I think I do. The problem is they have Carnage Tyrant after sideboard. So I like, have to leave this this in, and this is my only answer to Carnage Tyrant. Unless I... Like, they're going to bring in Regal Caracal as well. So, like, maybe I can find a way to Scarab God into, like, Regal Caracal, which would be sick. I have no idea if UB Control get better after Rivals. I believe the Scarab God got better after, after Rivals, so I just wanted to play a Scarab God deck. Like, the Scarab God is just the stones. Alright. So, is it worth main phase of that? It probably is. Just to look for some action. Alright, so there's some action. Yeah. I mean, I still think, like, honestly, I think Mono Red is going to be the best deck in Standard. I think as soon as people, like, I think Mono Red is just going to be very good. I need to find a Field of Ruin. Quickly. Because, like, oh, that's that's some synergy right there. At least that takes a card out of it, my opponent's hand. Ixalan's Binding. Alright, we got it. I think it's. I don't think it's good enough because it's uh, it's it's sorcery speed. If you can play, if that was instant speed, that card would be messed up. That card would be sick. All right. Welcome to the section of the control matchup where everybody is tapping on their mantles. All right. I kind of want all these, which sucks. What are the odds my opponent has a counter spell? I guess I'll just upkeep Hulk because if I hit a, if I hit like a spell, then I'm in good shape. They're hit like a, a hard counter spell. Well, I'm ahead on time, so we're we're con we're con we're, we're very conscious of that. And that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna stay ahead on time. My opponent wants to scavenger ground this, they can. I should have, I messed this all up. I should have done this in response to this, which is just poor timing on my fault. Like, not seeing, not having played against this interaction. But I should have done this with this, so that the Azkanta wouldn't have flipped. Yeah, this is just poor sequencing on my part. It's like, it's my fault. Like, I just haven't seen this interaction. Like, a Gear Hulk as Kanta plus Desert, so I wasn't, it wasn't on my mind. I don't think my opponent should have gifted Paradise this. But. Team Okay. Okay. And we're just going to keep up on time on our opponent, like. 
it does appear to be our out at the moment. Yeah. And I easily, I guess I, I easily could have played around that. It's just like it wasn't in my head to play around Search for Kenta and Scavenger Grounds. You know, like what deck before this has played Search for Azkanta and Scavenger Grounds? It is odd my opponent has not found an approach in the top half of their library. I think it'd be better for them to be azkanta because that, you know, gives you more interaction. Now this just, if he flips this, oh, they're not legendary? Oh, wow. These aren't legendary? That's like, that's annoying. A non-legendary maze of it. Yeah, approach deck with no approach for sure. I guess I shouldn't auto yield. I guess Maze of It isn't even legendary on its own. That's annoying. You talking about what I was talking about the program or just killing this right now. There's also a chance that I could I could legitimately deck my opponent. Like, and I know, like, I guess they have the blue desert, or do they not have the, they don't even have the blue desert anymore. So, like, I could deck my opponent as an out. My maze is presumably built. Spring, sure. They failed to find a basic. I will discard an essence scatter because at least essence extractions hit zombies. I could just let that happen, because if they draw extra cards, then they're going to lose the, the game. Yeah, I think I'm just going to let this... I think my, like, I legitimately think that maybe this is my way to win. Like, search for Azkanta into me drawing enough counter spells so that my opponent mills himself out. Because if they mill a card, they're down another card. Yeah, I don't even think I want to cycle this at this point. Again, we're just going to let this happen because I don't know how many blue deserts they have, but you know we're we're on the mill out plan. See, now they're up two cards. Now we're up three cards. Okay, there's the blue desert, and we can even disallow some of the blue desert triggers. Our promise. Okay. Now we get to use these cards here. And now we're up even more cards on our opponent. We're just going to have to fight over this Ipnu Rivulet. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, he's got like four of them? Target player puts the top four cards. So I'm gonna have to find a lot of disallows. Which it's our out. It's it's not good, but it is our out.
It's like they've got four of them, so theoretically, this is 12 cards, so it's eight cards. So I will be two cards down. So now that's, yeah, so this is like, it is very much wishful thinking. I've got how many more of these? I've got one more Disallow, and I've got two more Gear Hulks in my deck. Yeah, like I'm, I'm gonna let this go. So now we're up eight cards. We got some more deserts now, which is going to again make this difficult. But it's our out. Our out is them milling. Those hieroglyphic illuminations, I say target player or you. Draw two cards, yeah. Then maybe they'll ask Kanta here. is do I cycle so I have to cycle I think I'm gonna cycle to try to find a gear hulk or another disallow because I'm losing this race as it is and if I can find another gear hulk okay, so now we get milled here which we hit a gear hulk so we only have one more gear hulk and one more disallow So now we're losing the mill race, which is not good. Because they've got, what, two? They've got one more, so I basically have four turns. Yeah, they've got two of them, so we're good now. We'll concede now. But that was our out. So let's begin sideboarding. So I want my Duresses, I want my Glintsleaf Siphoner, I want Gaunti, I think I want all of these creatures because all of these creatures here, like I can block Carnage Tyrant with. And I don't know if I want Negate, so that's yet to be seen. Um, I think I want Contempt, I don't want this, I don't want this, because they're, they're bringing in Regal Caracal and they're bringing in... Um, the Carnage Tyrant. So I want to keep enough removal in to like be able to handle that. I probably don't want Essence Scatter. Um, Cause Essence Scatter doesn't even deal with Carnage Tyrant. Um, Disallow Sensor. I, I think I can actually ditch Essence Scatter and bring back in this. I, want, I actually want my Bantu's Last Reckoning, unfortunately. Because I do want to have some answers to Tyrant. Scatter is better than Contempt. You think so? Is Essence Scatter better than Contempt? Essence Scatter counters the Caracol on the way down. Doesn't each one are poorable or poor against... They're basically both really bad against Carnage Tyrant, but... Essence, Vraska's Contempt can kill the, the whatever they are. Vraska's Contempt can kill zombies. The problem is I'm, I'm, worried, I'm worried about them switching their deck around in such a way where Negate isn't as good. That's kind of why I brought in the Duresses, because at least that's more proactive, but I guess I, guess I can see that. I think I like Contempt more than Essence Scatter because each one of them basically deal with the same thing, but this one gains you two life. Like this leaves, like if you Essence Scatter a cat versus Vraska's Contempted, they're left with two one ones. 
you can reanimate it with the scare guy. This also kills zombies. Yeah, it's like the upside is like this gains two life and kills zombies. Which I would rather have that, I guess, in a pinch than I think a counter spell. So I think that's what we're going to go with. Because I don't want to have to... Like, the worst case scenario is if I have to Bantu's Last Reckoning away a board of deserts. More zombies. Alright, we'll keep this. Saying is good, not great. Like, we have a counterspell, a way to dig. We have an answer to Carnage Tyrant. So... Like, either... either I, be I believe, like, Freed Mania, I think either are pretty poor. Like, you're picking between, like, this sucks versus this sucks... The blue deserts are annoying from our opponent. I hope that there is a glint sleeve siphon on top of my deck. I'm gonna play a tap land and just show a little weakness. And we gotta just be wary of the clock. We're up three minutes, which is definitely good. Yes, that can also be one of our outs. We're definitely not cycling this. We're not doing anything on this turn. This card says, like, find Glincy Siphoner on it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love this card so much. We're going to lose the desert. We're going to lose the mill out race due to this card, though, which is sad. You ready for this? We're going to turn into a Delver deck right now. We're just going to protect the Duder. We're going to protect the Siphoner. Where's my days? Alright. So I'm not sure if I want to play this yet. Like, I'm not sure if I want to go full aggro. I kind of want to leave up Supreme Will, Higher Rulination, or Disallow this turn. And I kind of want to just save this for Carnage Tyrant, to tell you the truth. And I don't want to, like, I don't want to have to play this and then Bantu's Last Reckoning it away. So it is, like, slightly mopey. I'm going to counter. If they could try to kill this, I'm going to counterspell it. Like, this Siphoner is... I think this Siphoner is how I'm going to win this game. So... I'm going to protect, protect the Siphoner. Okay. Just wait to draw one card with Siphoner to the fifth land. to sign two draw. I agree. That's my opponent's cast outing now. They're playing Spring. That's, that's fine because that means now we can Illumination and not worry about a cast out. And we can like, now we can gain some like real velocity. Yeah, now we're like, we're flush. Attacking with this guy. I'm going to play Evolving Wilds because it is basically a tap land. Or I can play my dude, I guess. Yeah, I guess I'll just play dude. My opponent can Carnage Tyrant next turn, but at least this Aetherborn is going to be like, get out. And if, if, if they don't Carnage Tyrant me, then I've got at least, I've got like four a turn coming at them. I guess answer is much worse on the draw. Gift of Paradise. That's kind of interesting. I kind of want to use this Supreme Will on this Gift of Paradise because the Supreme Will is not going to be great for very long. This is going to gain them life, and 
Um, yeah, it's going to gain the life. And, like, I'm already drawing cards. So, yeah, I think we're just going to go... This is kind of aggressive. But... And we still have Disallow in our hand. And if they're going to fight over this with a negate, like, that's fine. But Jason's defeat. Okay. And Field of Ruins a non-basic, right? Yeah. No, Field's, field's non-basic. Unfortunately. Yeah. So it's a good play by my opponent to put it there. There's Carnage T. And now we're just going to keep this gifted Aetherborn back for as long as this Carnage is in the game. We'll draw a card every other turn. I guess every third turn. All right, million dollar question. Is it time to wrap the board? And then play the god. So what do you mean? This this scare this thing does five damage to me a turn. Five. Eleven. 10, 7, like I'm not, I'm definitely not ahead in the race, right? Because it's 11, 11, 15, 10, 7, so 11, 15, 7, 10, 4, also that loses a lot to like deserts, right? I feel like that's pretty loose against deserts. I guess if I play God, then that might do it even more. We would rather trade, so if they have more creatures, we can reckon. I think so too. Yeah, so I think we're just gonna get in with the siphoner. The question is, is it, I don't think it's God time. I think we're just holding up. I would like to play the god when I can activate it, I think. Yeah, I'm going to wait till I can play the god where I can activate it. Like, I get that we are winning the race, Jacob Home, but it easily could swing the other way, in my opinion. Because, like, if, if we deal with this, then they play, like, a Regal Caracol. Then it's pretty annoying. And the more cards they commit to the board, the better our Scare of God gets. That's annoying. Because that turns off our Glint Sleeve Siphoner as well. I think this warrants a Counterspell. As bad as that feels. I agree, Jay, that your your line of play like wins me the game if nothing bad happens to me. But I think like shit hits the fan, I'm, I'm gonna be punished by just taking seven for that. Taking seven for this turn. Taking five, I guess. What's up, dude? What's up, you tyrant? All right, let's get this out of the way. Ooh. So now, nine. So now we attack with both. Because the Gear Hulk, we have Gear Hulk disallow for a Caracal or anything that gets too wild, I think. 
So now I think we're coming in. Because it's still nine, either way. 42 viewers, I hope everyone's having a good time. We're playing some standard today. Playing some new, some new good stuff. So now they have to answer the Gear Hulk. They have to answer the board at instant speed and I'm gonna illumination. Which is good. And I'm gonna draw a card next turn. Scarab G. And now if we even need to win the race more, we can contempt something. Which is good for the home team. We did lose a minute on our opponent there. Oh, this could be settle the wreckage. Ooh, I forgot. I didn't think about that. Okay. Definitely don't think about that. So now I can just Bontu's Last Reckoning and play Scarab God, then reanimate the Carnage Tyrant the turn after next. Yeah, I think this is this is the plan. We do only get two lands next turn, but like, such is life. Excellent binding. Oh, double gross. Because like, we can't, because that hits the god too, right? You can't cast in your hand. Yeah. Not another Carnage Tyrant, dude. Probably gonna be an approach. Okay. So I can field of ruin this because this is gonna get them closer to it, and they'll just stone rain them, which is probably what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a look here. Yeah, it does hurt. I'm gonna take a look, see what this card is another approach and I'm gonna f I do think I have to feel to ruin this because this gets them just closer to the approach or we stone rain them which they shuffled one two three four five six seven eight nine ten all right, we, I'm going to do this now because we can do stuff. Oh, we've, they've caught up to us on time, which is good. They found a land. Ooh, they're going to fly. They're going to start flashing these back to gain some velocity. Definitely good. Oh, wow. Man, this is a song's binding card. is much better than it looks. At least on the surface. We're dead to a lot of stuff. We're probably just dead, period, because our opponent's going to be able to, like, Jace. And I think they've only got, like, probably... They probably only have, like, one. If this is, uh... Oh, there's another Carnage T. So what is the gear? The gear hole doesn't really do anything. 
I guess I should main phase Gear Hulk because, and then Supremo, because I can find like Dante. Hopefully, I don't have a negate for this. Oh, that was, again, I, I like, am just losing my mind when it comes to this scavenger ground thing. That's the second time this match that I've done that. I just haven't played around this onboard scavenger. Um, on board scavenger ground, which is frustrating. Time to drop from this leg and play mono red. Yeah, I'm definitely in a little bit of trouble. I need to find another Gear Hulk. I mean, I have draws. Like, I've got, I have two, I have one Gaunti, and I have one more Glen Safe Siphoner that deal with this. I'm cold. I'm pretty cold to... Well, that's bad, too. But we can deal with that. And it's going to gain us two life. These Ixalan bindings were just, like, back-breaking. So we'll be able to double Contempt, eat one of these... And then go to four, it looks like. I should have I guess it doesn't matter. I can't get this Ixalan binding off the off the battlefield. Can't cast that one either. Okay, so what am I at? Uh, now? I think I'm cold to this now because I need. I'm gonna take one, then next turn. Even if I draw gifted Etherborn, gain two life, take four. So I guess if I rip Etherborn, we're still in the game. Yeah, Gaunti into a binding would be very good. How many lands we have? We have 12, 16, so that's still, that's plenty. Should have tapped my Field of Ruin. Opponent's going to negate this. All right. GG's. Concede the game. That was sad. All right, let's jump into the, another match. The 401 dream is still alive. 50 viewers, I hope everyone's having a good time this morning. Might as well plug while we're doing it here. My name's Dylan Hovey, and you guys are lying around on my stream. I'm a part of the Card Hoarder Network, so if you guys ever need Magic Online singles, you should check out Card Hoarder, as they're the best bot chain. Like, they do, they got the best for the community, the team, the podcast is great, and the great customer service is awesome. Um, if you are in the upstate New York area, Gamer Craze is a uh, great store up there that does magic stuff and other gaming stuff, and they're great for prices. They foster like a college environment. If you ever want to check out replays from my stream, um, you can find them on my YouTube channel. I've got probably, I probably almost have 100 hours of Death Shadow on my YouTube channel, and I don't know, probably 20 to 30 hours of other various modern decks with some standard. And if you want to just interact with me on Twitter to play your deck, I'll do that. Just like follow me on Twitter and just like talk to me. Just engage with me about magic, and I'll, I always engage back. So, we'll jump back to the stream here. That might be accurate. Like three mana, I just I just picked a list and went with it. This hand's pretty risky, but I think I'm gonna keep it. Like if I hit if I hit another land, I've got 23 in my deck, and I can redraw with sensor if I need to like and if I hit these supreme wills they're gonna they're gonna like they're definitely gonna fix my mana up a little bit uh why not 
and Zen Trader, if you guys are still in the chat, thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate it. I usually have my headphones in to watch, to listen to that going on, but I left my headphones at home and it causes a lot of issues with... And Matthew Hoffman, thank you. If you're watching, that happens from time to time. People, right after I plug, they go right to the YouTube, which is great. So I think I'm going to need this sensor against Basic Mountain. Well, this isn't this isn't necessarily an outdated list, um, J Bone Capone. Like I took this from a Moto 50 list that was from this set. It does not have any new cards in it, I don't think. I'd have to look at the sideboard. Wow, my opponent's gonna miss their land drop. We might too, so we might make it even for them. All right, we're in business. Definitely Supreme Willing for a Swamp, or a Black Source. Unless my opponent gives me the opportunity to negate something, to uh, Essence Scatter or something here. Plays Dunes of the Dead. Um... I think we're just gonna let this go. I would rather find a land than kill this. Yeah, I mean, I think they'll trans. They'll they'll go back to reckoning if. Okay, that's what we need. They'll go back to reckoning if the Carnage Tyrant becomes a legitimate card in this format, which it, it easily could. You have to put the Golden Demise card in there. I don't have that one off the top of my head. Which one is this desert? Is this the one? Yeah, that makes a makes a dooter. That is worth supreme willing, I believe. And this gets swamp, and then we're gonna hold up negate and essence scatter. Because I don't want to get Hazarded next turn. Though I could just slam the Scare of God. And when we played Mono Red last time, slamming the Scare of God on 5 was how we won. So, I think that's just what we're going to do. I feel like that desert does nothing with the Rose God. Well, they might be playing... Oh, the Concession to the Scare of God. Okay, so we're on board similarly to how we did in the last games. Play a search. Board in these five. We're board out search. Um, um, I don't remember how I boarded in the first matchup, actually, to tell you the truth. Counter spells don't seem great. Like, I could definitely get on board with Disallow being, like, too clunky. Supreme Will is probably fine, because you have Sensor, Sensor and Essence Scatter are going to be good. Disallow seems clunky. Supreme Will seems better just because you can use the alternate mode in it if you want. Cutting a Gear Hulk is also okay. But like Gear Hulk, Gear Hulk Essence Extraction or Gear Hulk Vorask because the condemn seems like such big game. Usually in the draw you cut some card draw. I can see that. But like Illumination also cycles. Like I think I'd be much more like able to 
cut this if it was Glimmer. Right? This kind of like gets out from under it a little bit because you can just cycle it. You don't have to play it on four if you don't need to. I see what you're saying with, if it was Glimmer for sure though. I just think like Gear Hulk, Flashback, Essence of Construction, or Vraska's Contempt is like will like stabilize me really well. Alright, we're gonna go like this. I also don't know what I would like. Is the disallow better? Because like disallow is battle and drop, right? If disallow was better, maybe like if I could see bringing the disallow back in on play and cutting a gear hole. But I don't know. We'll go like this for now. Well, thank you. Uh, my opponent mulligan, so I can mulligan as well. This hand's much better. We will keep this. Oh, what is going on with my OBS? My OBS is just like losing its mind today. I'm gonna look for like. Sensor extraction fatal push. Yeah, we'll have another one of those. Hopefully the essence extractions can bridge us to the scare of God. But I for sure can see a world where we just get absolutely run over. Like I hope that it's just lands. We we just draw lands off the top. Treasure maps annoying. Contempt's good. So now we just need to draw land because I think we have I think we have the tools to win this game, which the search will help us. And if they're if they're scrying on their upkeep, I feel pretty good about where we are. Yeah, I feel I feel pretty good right now. I am gonna put Bantu's last right in the graveyard. We just I just want to find a land. It's the opposite of land. Nice thing is that I can field of ruin this if I need to. I really want to get something to point this at, just so that I can move towards flipping this. That's annoying. Alright, we land. No. That's double duty. That's a land and it's gonna fill up our graveyard. Hey Johnny, how you doing? I wonder if I get a window here to Field of Ruin. I, do, I am gonna get Field of Ruin after my turn, which is good. They have six mana. We're Kindling Phoenix, that's okay. So I guess they're like a bigger deck. And I think I'm going to get this on my main phase because it's really going to suck if my opponent, like, lightning strikes this in response. And then I can't deal with it. I should have waited for the end step. I forgot that an untapped land comes back in for my opponent. Yeah, I'm just going to main phase contempt this thing. Get this out of here, gain two life. Got rice cooking in the microwave. That's how you do it, man. That is how you do it, my friend. I like this blue-black deck. Glory B, all right. 
I'm gonna go with no, because that means we're gonna be able to flash back Deer Hulk encounter and get rid of this. I do think I'm interested in consigned to oblivion. So this is gonna be a problem. Because my opponent's gonna like howling mine it up for a couple turns. Hopefully I get to eat something. Well, that's gonna come back. So I don't really get to eat it. I got it. Get this going. And hopefully this deer home lives, but I don't think it's going to. Then next turn, we're just going to slam the Scarab God. I think the Scarab God, I mean, we don't have anything to bring back, which kind of sucks, but we do get to like make it so our opponent probably has to commit to this next turn. Mom and Pop. No, we're just going to continue to draw those. Yeah, now we're going to turn the corner. It is a great day to be alive. The sun is still shining when I close my eyes. Then we're gonna slam the man. They can crack me for a decent amount of damage here, but we have, we've got eight life, eight points of life gain in our hand. So I'm really not worried about it. Just milking this guy for sure. I'm not super sure. I mean, my opponent is going to be able to Howling Mine, but I think well, there's actually a decent chance that we just kill them before this matters. Because my opponent's got to reanimate this Kenra. If they don't reanimate this Kenra, I don't see how they win. Because then I reanimate it, and I drain them for one and smack them for lethal. They have to chump already. And I've got, like, all kinds of good stuff. Yeah, I'm just going to take that. I'm not getting my Scarab God abraded before I bring this Kenra back. And then I can just Kenra on this so they can't block. Make mana. Okay, so they brought back their own camera. Okay, so I always mess this up. So first in, last out. So I get to scry with my Scarab God before this. Or if I put this first, then my Asconto resolve, and then I scry. Which I guess it doesn't really matter. I could go being no. Put swamp in my graveyard. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we'll put the swamp in the graveyard. We'll just draw some action. Actually, I probably wanted that swamp so that I could contempt and do something. Yeah, that was stupid. But I'm gonna attack. I'm actually just gonna attack my opponent. I think I'm gonna try to close this game out and then I can just essence extraction this Chandra after combat and if my opponent tries to double block then I can just get rid of this I just want to end this game before my opponent draws a bunch of cards and I think we'll just take this God comes back
And then we're just gonna like, just smack him with a big five six. Let's play God next turn. The only card we're afraid of, we're kind of afraid of has. Tenra doesn't matter. Again, none of this really matters. You are losing this race, fam. All right, another mom and pop. One, two, three, four, five. Put Swamp in my graveyard. Yes. Draw. Crack with the Gear Hulk. Yeah, that's next turn, Johnny, for sure. Because next turn we're going to have two 5-5s five in play. And, like, so next turn he's just dead unless he rips a way to impact the board. Because... I just go like, kill, kill, chumps one of these, still takes five. Our Skanta flips, so we're going to have a lot of mana next turn. And the Torrential Gear all hits hard. For sure. I like this deck. I like this deck a lot. Yep. All right, while we're while we're waiting for the next match, I'll plug my sponsors again. Gamer Craze up in upstate New York. Again, they'll have their online shut up there, but if you're in the upstate New York area, it's the best place to play Magic. A bunch of great people play there. Card Hoarder is the best bot chain in the business. So if you need singles, you should buy from Card Hoarder. I just mouthed that loud, a, a loud a Johnny line. <laughs> yeah, that's not appropriate. Um, if you'd like to find my channels, they're always broke, or my YouTube channel. I have all these archived broken up by deck. Um, you know, we can do that. We're up to 84 subscribers, I think. So when I get to 100, I'm going to have to do something sweet. So if you guys like YouTube content, all this is always archived. And just interact with me on Twitter, and I will play your deck. Like, play something. Like, just talk to me about Magic. I love talking about Modern, Standard. I would like to learn more about Legacy, but I've got to up my credit limit in order to start playing that. So, next match is good here. So, let's jump back. As long as you don't get run over by aggro. That Bant approach deck didn't feel good. That Bant Ixalan's binding deck felt kind of gross. I'm going to ship this. And we'll keep this. It's kind of a gross hand, but we can scry land on top. And then as Kanta can find us something to do. Yeah, that's what we'll play that. I love this card. Like, I do not really like playing control decks, but I think this card here makes me want to play... Excuse me. This card makes me enjoy playing control decks. Yeah, I have to figure something out that, like, there's definitely a hole in the deck, I think, when it comes to that deck. And it might be more, like, more Bantu's Last Reckonings or more creatures in the sideboard. I do not like the Bantu's Last Reckoning in the main deck, I think. I think I easily could see that become a consign to Oblivion. We're playing the blue-black mirror here. Are we? No, we're going to draw that. If we're playing a control mirror, I just want lands. Pillow Pile for life with 100 cheer. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Okay. So it's like the Grixis mid-range deck. Whirler. Whirler. I wonder if I'm going to main face. I'm probably not going to main face kill this because if they land a Chandra, that's pretty annoying. I wonder how this matchup is. Don't put the Scare of God in my graveyard. 
I'm gonna go with no. I'm gonna draw the Scarab God and then be a little more apt to use this Supreme Will to like find my land drops. I did. I liked that deck. That was the first time I'd ever picked up a control deck, though. So I'm in like I'm in a pickle here where I kind of have to supreme will for a land. So if I counter this, it doesn't come back, which I've, I've got to do. We're pretty weak to like Chandra at this point. Chandra is pretty bad for the home team. Glorybringer is like pretty annoying. I want to land. Put Hieroglyph animation in the graveyard. I'm going to draw this and then I'm just going to main phase it. We don't have any shields anyways, and this has a likelihood of hitting me a land plus something else. And I just need some velocity. And Contempt is a good draw. Glory Bringer, Glory, glory Banger. Yeah, Glory Banger is going to be scary here, but we have an answer to it. And then we can even flash back Contempt. Chandra's Bad News Bears, for sure. Gaunti's annoying as well. My opponent's just doing a lot of annoying stuff. Put Swamp into my graveyard. No. Okay, so I really don't want my Gear Hulk to get Supreme Weld. And I want to flash this illumination back now, I think. And I can answer a couple things and gain life. So I think I'm just going to main phase this. I think I just want to, like, get velocity on my opponent. Look to tra I'll trade this Gonti, this Gear Hulk for this Gonti if I need to. I just want to, like, I don't have any defense. And my opponent could just, like, we can answer whatever they do when they untap. And they can only cast one spell a turn. So whether it's... Glorybringer or Chandra, we can deal with it. And I'll probably block whatever, even if my opponent just attacks with Gaunti, I'll block it. Glory, I've seen that guy's Twitch name. The old Glorybanger Mirror Breaker. The Chandra's annoying, but again, we'll just deal with it on our main phase. I don't have quadruple black to go like hit this attack. No, we want that. Play this and then probably just pass the turn. We'll hold off the ground. We have Essence Scatter for a Duder. I feel like control matchups always, like whenever you're playing control on control, it's always like instant speed until you get to this weird point of the game where you both just start throwing haymakers at each other in the main phase. And I'm just gonna trade, like, with my, with my opponent having with me having a uh, Scarab God, it's all right to just keep this in my graveyard. And I think the longer this game goes, the better chance it has for I have a winning, and it's gonna help me flip my Ascanta. Yeah, we don't want that garbage. We drew that garbage. One, two, three, plus illumination. One, two, three, four, five, plus God. So we, go, we can play Scarab God. 
Or we could just go Essence Extraction, Essence Scatter, Hieroglyph Illumination, which I think I like doing. I want to play the God where I can flash something, where I can reanimate the Gear Hulk immediately. And I'm just going to take a shot. Actually, I guess there's no point in me just not doing this now. Like, what else am I going to get with it? I guess a glint sleep. No, but we have the push for the cipher. So let's just deal with this. One, two, three, four, five. So I could push this six and then... Well, no, I'm, I'm going to flip my content next turn, which is great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hopefully I flip my content and draw a land. Flip his content, draw a land, we're in good shape. Because then we have God Gear Hulk. No. So we draw this. Oh, his content doesn't flip, which kind of sucks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I just don't think there's any reason to play the God yet. Like I can play the God when I can when I can activate it immediately. We have Essence Extraction and Fatal Push. Our search is going to flip. And we have Essence Scatter for a Glorybringer. So we can deal with anything over. Yes. Johnny, GC Percent and I were college buddies. GC Percent plays a Gamer Praise. I'm just going to take a shot in this. This Fatal Push is much better when it, when it comes to dealing with a... Uh, Whatever that dumb card is. Um, Gwinsley Siphoner. One, two, one, two. Yeah, we are going to put that in the graveyard. And then we will flip this. Play our homeboy. Okay. That is annoying, but not the end of the world. We'll play this. No, it's probably just worth activating Esconta to draw a card versus play the other Esconta. Yeah. Was it legendary? Yes. Legend wait for a dairy. I did forget to mention that. Excuse me. I don't think any of the card hoarder people are streaming at the moment, Johnny. So, like, I'm going to play another league after this match with the red-green monsters deck. And then I'll definitely toss people over to you. Oh, man, I wanted both of those. Now I have to find a way to shuffle my deck. Because, like, that's two of the three of my win conditions in the bottom. That sucks. That's actually... I only have one more win condition now. Which blows. What did I was stuck with? I need to make sure to never flip this search. Because that would be bad. I need to find an Evolving Wilds. Cycling it through with this Kanta is probably like I guess I guess I am going to actually eventually get it to like the top, but they're they're bunched right next to each other. Supreme will any order. Go like this. Always know.
pass. Oh, I wanted to keep that Supreme Will to grab one. Now they're like 20 down? Okay. I guess that makes sense, Johnny. Alright, I've had enough of this. Like, I can, I can Essence Scatter, Double Essence Scatter, a whatever the dumb card is. But I've just had, I've had enough of that stupid, stupid thing. Evolving Wilds for the nice. Cycle. Oh, that was stupid. I should have done this in the Ops order. Yeah, that was dumb. Now I'm just going to untap. I'm not going to get Supreme Weld. Do this now. Play my land. I have Field of Ruin in there, Frack, Frack Guru. Um, Tubaland, thank you very much for the follow if you're still in the chat. I feel like this is a really good matchup for me. I think you just go over the top of this deck. Just take Contempt. I probably should have taken Disallow. I mean, Contempt gives me life, I guess. I should be coming up to those guys now. I wonder if I should do this on my main phase. Probably. I probably can start being more aggressive with this as Kanta. But it's not like I, actually that was stupid. It's not like I'm gonna gear hulk. One, two, three. So I would have taken an illumination. Okay. Because the Brass's contempt deals with everything this allow does and gains me two life, right? Okay, so I assume this matchup's gonna get a little grindy after sideboard here. I think I want my own Siphoners to keep him honest. And I want Gaunty, Lord of Luxury. Sensor's um, probably not very good because the game's just going to go that long. And Sensor on the draw is not very good anyways. Essence Scatter seems fine. I probably don't want all of these negates. Maybe I could cut like... The Bantu's last working. This card's egregious. I don't think this card should be in this deck. But the game's gonna go long, right? The game's gonna go long and it doesn't matter. Maybe I wanna cut some of these and keep some sensors in. I can buy that. Because I do wanna have an answer. I do wanna have answers to Glint Sleeve Siphoner. Which makes me want less of these, more of these. Cause I can't I can't negate or censor Glen Seed Siphoner on the draw. Oh, what do we have there? MTG Cold Brew is supposed to be 115 viewers. Thank you very much. Um if you guys are coming over from MTG Gold Brew stream, my name is Dylan Hubby. I'm a member of the Card Horror Network and I'm a Washington DC magic player. Um, that's, this is most of the time here we stream modern, but we're working on some standard today. So, yeah, yeah, 115, you must have had a gas stream. Um, I think I'm going to go like this. I don't think I want all my sensors on the draw. I've got plenty of counter spells. 
Vizier, okay. Hey, yeah, much appreciated. Stan is pretty sweet at the moment. Uh, this hand's pretty raw to a siphoner, but we can cycle the illumination if we need to, and I'd like to just keep seven cards in this matchup. Yeah, standard's pretty sweet. I am I'm excited to play some new standard stuff. Like, I would like to be like my modern content is pretty good. Like I'm getting followers, getting viewers from that. I'd like to tap into another market. And I think the best way to do that is to play some standard here. And I also might be doing some drafting if we get enough people going on. Duress by my Supreme Will, which probably means like a Chandra's coming. I'm going to play Drowned Catacombs just to be able to cycle this if I need to. That's a good, that's a wicked draw. Oh, the Drowned Catacombs. Yeah, that was a mistake. It's not just a blue-black dual land. I've been playing with Watery Graves too much. Too much Watery Grave in my life. Not enough Drowned Catacombs. Oh, wow, what a small world, man. What a small world. I guess it doesn't really matter. We'll do this to keep up, keep up impressions. Definitely gonna play Evolving Wilds next turn. I should have played Evolving Wilds this turn because I can find stuff pretty well. Yeah, maybe I'll draft. That's the hard thing about drafting is like, a I'm not a very good drafter, and like I want to get better at drafting. I think it's a real hole in my Magic game. So like, it, but if people like, I need to be. I need to be like a personality in order to be drafted. Uh, okay, so now we're gonna go like this. Island Rip Scout, yeah. I get the drafting does get old cold brew. I just want to I wanna improve that aspect of my game. Like I can definitely tell I'm I'm weak there. Oh wow, my opponent missed a land drop. Yeah, this game just, this this deck here, I feel like I'm this deck's big brother. You know, like, like I'm, I'm taking this deck out back. Uh, should I slam the Gonti? Probably not, because I can do, I can like leverage mana here. I can Illumination at the end of their turn untapping Gonti. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not a good drafter. All right, so we're gonna let, we're gonna fight our opponent's man a little bit here. And if they counter this, they counter this. Like, wow, that seems surprising. I think I'm just gonna do nothing still. I should turn off. I should not auto yield live counter spells. I do, I'm too used to playing Death Shadow, where we just you just play everything. You're just playing on your main phase. All right, there's a hub. So it looks like my opponent is gonna have some action. I wanna play this Gaunty when I can protect it or at least force it through. Cause I don't really wanna protect it, but like it would also be nice to be able to play this Gaunty when I have enough of a man advantage where if they hostage take it, I can contempt it back. And I assume that's gonna be after, I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna gear Hulk on their end step just to, le like we're just leaning on them now. I could have played that Field of Ruin and busted up their red source. But I think that's probably worse than just playing Gaunti, than just playing this Gear Hulk. If my Gaunti resolves next turn, I'm gonna bust this Ether Hub up. Yeah, Illuminate, we're just gonna lean on him. And it's unfortunate that my opponent has missed land drops here. But, again, like, it is what it is. Yeah. All right, 4-1. 4-1, yeehaw. All right, let me... All right, so let me put up the sponsor page here while I get everything else uh, going on. So let me get into my collection. Let me get a trade binder. I should have done this beforehand, but I did not.
Okay, card hoarder. Com. Yeah, we're just working. We're gonna get red green monsters here going. Going now. So dashboard. Private chat. Loan orders. Yeah, well, we'll be playing that next. How do you get checklist box for a stream? I'm not sure what you mean there. working on it now. going on sorry about this I'm having problems with the deke with my card with my it's my problem here with this so let me Sorry this is taking so long. Okay, um, so now let me get into here. Sorry this is taking a while, but it always sometimes takes a second here. We're getting it and once actually I should I should stop my YouTube. 